Ja, hallo und herzlich willkommen. Wir sind hier live von der Klangfarbe. Wir haben heute die Band Tramps hier. Did I spell it right? Did I say it right? Yeah, you yes. said it right. <laughs> uh, they came here to, to give an interview. And here are some questions. Uh, ich bin die Birdie. Ich bin die Drummerin von den Rumpets und wurde gefragt, ob ich das heute hier machen will. Und das will ich unbedingt. Ja, uh, yeah, let's go. Never want to cut it short. Never want to stop finding who I am, but what and why. Never want to fall in line. Who started the fun trends and how did music become your life and careers? Uh, we started the Von Tramps. Um, I always wanted to start an all-female band, um, so I kind of put out an ad looking for other people to join a band with me. Um, and through that ad, I found Jenna, and it turned out we had all the same interests in music. Um, we love pop punk, we love ska, um, we wanted to write and play the same music, and it kind of just took off from there. At the time, I was an actress. I was in a bunch of horror movies. Wow. And that's the career path that I was on. I had always been a musician. I always wanted to play in a band. And when I saw her ad and how much we had in common, I just knew it was something I had to do. Um, and so we met in this basement that was like infested with rats and it was disgusting. Nice, and like in the horror movies. Yeah. <laughs> we played a bunch of punk rock covers together. We knew it was going to work out. And eventually we met Prisandra. And she's really the glue to the group, and she holds us all together, makes sure that we're always <laughs> looking good and sounding good. Um, and so all, the three of us have really just become inseparable through the experience. Okay. The second part of your question, I, I don't know. I, I always thought that music would be my career somehow. I mean, I was exposed to it as a child. And I can't, I've been singing as long as I can remember. My sister was in musical theater. My dad was a musician and um, just always around it and kind of picked up a guitar one day and started writing my own songs as a kid. And yeah, now we're here. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Okay, so you're here on tour now. What was your worst or best experiences so far on, at the, on the stage? I guess so far uh, on the stage, my strap went woof. And so I just strap. Yeah, while well, I was playing it, like rocking out, and then it just dropped because I play yeah. a Thunderbird. It's like 10 pounds, just drops. And uh, so I put the uh, strap back on. And that's why we use strap locks. Yeah. I think one of the best experiences on tour has been seeing people in the crowd singing to our songs, um, especially in a, a new country for us um, in Europe. That's a really cool thing to see. So people already know a lot of your songs. Yeah. Yeah. And that's amazing. Yeah. That's that is so amazing. I'm trying to learn German, but I feel like people are learning about us faster than I am learning German. So <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> okay. Do you want to say something in German? Ich lebe euch. Oh, it's a that good, was, always a good one, always a good one. Ah, danke. Geht das sehr gerne. like Austria so far? How is your tour? And what is your favorite thing about touring? Austria is really beautiful. And we just, back in the US, we don't have buildings that are older than, I mean, what, 1700s maybe? Mm -hmm. And it's so neat to just see all the history in, in these towns. We don't have anything like that. It's so unique and it's well kept. Everything looks beautiful all the time. Um, and the States is just too new for that. So that's been really cool to see. Um, I think my favorite thing about touring is seeing everybody's dogs. <laughs> dogs? Yes. We miss our dogs so much when we're on the road. So whenever we see a stranger's dog, we always have to like meet the dog. <laughs> okay, I totally understand. So do you want to say hi to your dogs at yes, this point? Yes, mm -hmm. Hi, Hansi. I miss you. Hi, Carl. Hi, hi Hansi. Hansi? Yeah. So he's an Austrian dog. Yes. Oh, is he? So he <laughs> yes. likes schnitzel and stuff. Yeah, he does. He would eat schnitzel for sure. Yeah, I believe. He'd eat everything. He'd eat it all. 
<laughs> okay, perfect. So you, you're happy to be here and you like it in Austria. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's great. It's, it's, it's awesome. Okay. So people being kind and nice at the shows. And mm -hmm. the Absolutely. The hospitality here, the reception we've received has been incredible. Yeah. Like, it's nice. just absolutely been incredible. We've, nice. I, I knew people in Germany and Austria were very nice, but this is, I mean, Switzerland too, like, it's okay. just been incredible. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. I don't, yeah, I don't know if we want to go back home. I think we're on the fence. Already. Yeah. I told you before, you can stay in my place. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so what would you like to change about the music business and music industry? Um, that's a really good question. I guess what I would like to see is I'd like to see more women in the positions of like power, uh, like more female engineers and more female producers, um, more female booking agents and touring agents and things mm -hmm. like that. We, you know, for such a long time, it's been such a male dominated industry and not quite sure why. And it, the more like people that we have that think like us and kind of understand our specific requests and needs, like the better it is for us too. Um, and yeah, it's really empowering to have a team of women around us. Mm -hmm. Of course. Very well said. And that's a great thing. What would you do if you would not be musicians? Like what else would you do in life? I think I'd be a comedy writer. I'd, I'd, I'd want to work for Saturday Night Live. <laughs> really? That would, that would be, oh my God, that's the pie in the sky. A yeah. comedy writer. Yeah. Tell I, us a joke. Oh, I don't do that. I can do like <laughs> on-form sketch comedy. Like I would Chris Farley and like fall into this and like break <laughs> it and like, ah, and yeah. I, There's a table. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, I'm just like a huge fan of Saturday Night Live. That, that would be the dream. Yeah. Uh, for me, um, I think if I wasn't doing this, I would still be doing something creative because yeah. I love creative things. I really like uh, like videography and photography, so I think that's something I'd be doing. Tomorrow. You're capturing moments. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I think I would just learn things. That's all I would do. Just I would learn how to weld. I would learn how to crochet. I'd learn how to play drums. Like I would just learn things. Really? Yeah. Okay. If that's a job, that's the job I want. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Maybe you can do some on the tour bus. But... Oh, I, I do. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I can imagine. <laughs> Dr. Cassandra. Yes, Dr. <laughs> drums. Cassandra, you can go on drums. Kiss the girl and make a change. It's your show. Get on the stage. Live fast, die young. Live fast, die young. What are your future plans, guys? Where where will we see you up next? Like, what are you up to? Uh, we're coming back in July, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be back in July. So nice. We'll be back in Austria, so you'll mm -hmm. see a show from us then. Um, and then a fall. We also have a fall tour um, throughout Europe again. Yeah. So we'll be with back snuff. This year. Yeah. With oh, snuff. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Snuff in the Static Age. In the static oh, yes. Age. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Where are you guys going with snuff? So where can people see you? Um, I'm not, I don't remember the exact cities, but I know I'll be throughout Germany again. And, okay. Um, I think Denmark, there's a date in Denmark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Yeah. And so. when we get back from, to the U.S., we'll be playing with the English Beat. So we're doing all this and then nice. sleep for one night and then English Beat. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So this <laughs> is the life that you, that you prefer and that you cho you've chosen. We don't like to sit still. And I yeah. think the pandemic really taught us that lesson that we don't like to sit still. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. We're busy and that's a good thing. Yeah. Talking about the pandemic, I don't know if you spontaneously, if you want to say something about it, how was the pandemic for you and the music? It was pretty, it was, well, during the pandemic, we wrote our new record. It was pretty think productive. was the best thing that could have happened, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we took a lot of that time and just started writing your new record yeah the, the, the new one that just came out uh go we wrote it um, yeah during lockdown and we actually recorded it too you know i think what's really been incredible is that when we play shows here the restrictions in the u.s have been lifted a little sooner than the restrictions here yeah um the restrictions here are just starting to lift mm -hmm. and we're a lot of people's first show back And that's been just an incredible experience to share with a live audience. Yes. And I thank them for showing up and supporting live music again and trusting us. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, they thanked me and us for giving them a night of joy again. And of course. it's just such a huge, awesome thing that's happening, seeing people return to live music. And I was so happy to be a part of it here. Yeah. Yes. The pandemic, I think, really made everyone stop and realize <clears throat> what's important, mm -hmm. what things is the noise and what things is special and music is special. Yes. That's very well said. Last but not least, how can your fans keep being updated about what are you up to? Where are your shows? Where Where's your new music? Yeah. yeah. They can follow us on all social media, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, everything at The Von Tramps. At The Von Tramps. Yes. So everywhere on social everywhere. media. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. What about YouTube? Yes. Yes. YouTube, follow TikTok. us. Oh, TikTok. Yep. You do yes. that TikTok. Yep. At The Von Tramps. We're not good at dancing, no. but <laughs> we do have a TikTok. We have one, yeah. I mean, you have a comedian. You have to be on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> we're not young enough to be good dancers, but we're not too old to not have a TikTok. Okay. <laughs> we're somewhere in between. Yeah, that absolutely <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> Devil. Yes. Um, one thing I wanted to ask about uh, your album. What is your favorite song currently to play on stage? My favorite song um, to play live off the new album has been the title track, Go. It's just a really fun song. There's a lot of energy um, and it's just a really fun one to play live. I mean, it's when you see your live shows, actually, there's so much energy. Yeah. It's just, it's incredible. Yeah, thank you. I mean, wow. How do you keep up the energy? How do you stay in shape? <laughs> oh. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so it comes from the heart. Yeah. yeah, it really does. I think we just feed off of live audiences and their spirit and their energy, and it just makes us keep going. Yeah. Even when we're tired and our legs hurt. <laughs> yes. Yeah, of course. I mean, touring yeah. is also like a job. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a full-time job, but we take it very seriously and we, we take care of each other. We make sure that, you know, the parties don't get too wild and we, we understand that it's like professional and we need to be at a certain place for a certain time because people are depending on us. Yeah. Of course. Out of the 24 hours, you know, in a day, the 40 minutes we're on stage is the most important. Oh, so yeah. that's when we go hard. And then <laughs> that's when you go hard. Yeah. yeah. And then we lay down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. So is there anything else that you would like to tell your friends and the people out there? Um, just thank you to everyone who supported us over the years. We have a lot of diehard fans in Minneapolis and California and now in Germany and Austria. Mm -hmm. who, and Switzerland. Yeah, like they've, yeah. they've believed in us for years and that this is happening is it's a win for them, too. Okay. I'd really like to thank Sabam for taking us out here and giving us a chance mm -hmm. and really elevating us um, to be visible in this industry and mm. just absolutely thankful. And they're the best people on the planet. Yeah. So. Yeah, they're great. Spam records are awesome. Like they give a lot of women also a chance to, mm -hmm. yes. to get hurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not hurt, but hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, listen up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a great thing. These are the Von Trams. They came all the way from Minneapolis. I think all of you? Yes. 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 Yep. All of them are from Minneapolis. Their dogs are called Hansi, though, and have Austrian names, <laughs> which is amazing. <laughs> Keep updated and come to the next shows. Go check out their records. These guys are lovely and amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ich liebe euch. Uh, maybe one or two weeks. Uh, one or two years. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. I'm not happy. Okay, that was time. Okay.